broken home I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go I'm breaking these walls down Breaking these walls down If you want adventure then fly to home But if you want to travel then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know yeah, If you're gonna leave I'ma let you go I'm tired of the pain Go away I'm tired of the snap what up solid Layla what are you doing here might as well get it out of the way come on say hi Layla Papa. yay Layla. you want to say hi Uh, what up, metal? The Banes of a Wolf. Uh, let me start the game. Oh, it just starts loading. Uh, let's see. Here. Sorry I didn't stream last night. Uh, I've been busy and pretty tired. <laughs> just like passed out at the end of the night. Just like plop uh, let me move the name and header just a little bit to the left oh come on it looks a little did, did that change much did that do anything Uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it, there we go. That's a little better. Oh, whoops. That's a nice start. I still got, I still like that <laughs> quite a lot. Oh, and uh, by the way, guys, I uh, do have already lined up uh, game, like the night games. You know how I play basically like a morning game and then I'll play like a night game. Uh, so the night one is supposed to be Doom right now, but I haven't been able to actually play at night uh, recently. But, you know, when I do go back to it and then finish Doom, I already have the next ones lined up. Um... I might do like a poll or something on the Discord and then see what which one you guys want to see first. I think it's, uh, what is it? We have three choices? Three or four? How far? Uh, wh what is it? Like halfway, I think it is? I think I'm like halfway with Doom. I, I don't know. I really don't understand like that game sometimes. 
Like, it feels like I'm almost done with it, but... It, I was like, no way. There's no way I'm almost done. There's still a bunch of, like, challenges and stuff. Like, this seems to be done. I think it's halfway, though. Because uh, I, I don't play it off stream, so... I wouldn't know that much. I don't remember. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. Uh, okay, I can't. I can't hold my, my tongue about that. By the way, guys, so my real name is Jose. Every time he says Jose, it's just like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> why is his name Jose? Jose, yeah, we're living. Look at I me. We're living. Even you. But, uh, there's some people you know that weren't here for it. But, yeah. All right. We're moving out. Follow. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, right, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Hey, yes, man. boss. Good. To get good now. now, come on. Let's ride. How's everything sounding, by the way? It's done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, That's look exactly. at you boys. Giddy up, See? Boys. This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. 
Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. There's the water tower. Hold up here sure on the ridge. To, uh, PC. What does that mean? Hold. Why wouldn't oh. it? Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Eso. Check on Billy. Yeah, that's good. I want to pass my horse. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see what we got here. Um, switch to the. Well, go on then. Yeah, 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 I'm going. Hmm. This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember to thank Colm O'Driscoll for planning it out so well for And for providing all the explosives. <laughs> Real generous. Where is, uh... <laughs> I want to see his horse actually really quick. Hmm. Looks, looks a lot different than all the other ones. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Did I just hear like a bear? Connect the wire to the detonator. Should be easy enough. Watch me detonate the bomb by mistake or some shit. Train will have been and gone if you don't hurry up. Shut the hell up. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Be ready to move quick and remember the plan. All of you, no mistakes. I'll try not to make any mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Assuming he wants the bandana, right? Yeah, here it is. And then, so, do I just... Select an item, push the... Yeah, okay. That includes you, Arthur? Yeah, yeah, bitch. I'm doing it. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck. 
Polly, you all know what to do. <laughs> Jeez, shut the fuck up, Solid. <laughs> it just said press RT to aim or just shoot. I'm like, what the hell? Whatever. Oh, uh, goddamn. Shoot him, damn it!
shooting, kid. I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corn. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. <laughs> Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Might as well loot. <laughs> All right, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should train. be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. See if we can get this open. Let's see, we are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation there. in Torino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, <laughs> and <laughs> the Leland Oil see? Development Company. That's how it's done. Shit! Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Oh, shit. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. <laughs> A the lot first of thing he does is spam. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from <laughs> Europe. Spam the emote. <laughs> I am not Thanks robbing another sub. boat Solid. as long as I live. Um... Wait, did it, did it do any, uh, any... Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? It, it should have done the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that thing. See, that. Just for you, though. <laughs> Come on! Let's hurry this along, boys! Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. No sound? Okay. It's goddamn O'Driscoll's. Right. These just seem well, to be contracts. Thanks for the sub again, though. Arthur, appreciate it. Have you looked down the end there? <sighs> well, keep looking. There so must be something. Can't take any of that. How's it looking in there? Hey, look, a little fox. No, this looks like something.
Think I got him? Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Search. <clears throat> Are you done in there? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Let's hurry this along. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. Oh, when snap. you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. What do you guys think I should do? Just kill him? Or should I uh, threaten? Damn, he just gets straight to her. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go on. <laughs> I just remember, there's a lot of shit to loot here. I mean, that that is the kind of game this is, anyways. But like. It's not a game that's meant to be rushed or whatever. It's one of those games that it's meant to be like played out and you lose stuff. And, you know. This is 76 cents. Search all this, right? <laughs> a chocolate bar. <laughs> Can't pick that. I think I just heard the deer. Yeah, that's probably the deer that I just heard. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. Please forgive me. <laughs>
time and just like loot <laughs> some. And when the puppies are gone too, I'll definitely, you know, it'll be more calm around here. So I'll make sure to be doing two streams a day. <coughs> right now, man, it's just so hectic. Whew, every morning, wake up, straight to them. Put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Take a look. No, fuck it. You all right back there? Is everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. <laughs> so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they want 
wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen him. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Uh, hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while, a number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. <laughs> Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. Really and we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Brother, 
Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh, this guy, okay. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. We should go on a little road trip like this, uh... You guys and me. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet Wild home. West. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Let me see. So this was the gang Zhang left in one because he worked for the government to clear his criminal record at least uh so yeah the way it works is that's uh yep this is the dutch gang you know uh, that's him right over there the main guy um dutch was the leader of all of them and john marston was the guy that you know was badly injured and they picked up in the mountains and this was the gang he was in and obviously they had a falling out or something happened, you know, in between this and the first game. And so the government officials that started tracking them all down um, and, you know, any other outlaws uh, asked John Marston to work with them and they would let him go and he could, you know, be with his family um, if he just helped them um, track down the rest of the gang. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! 
I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Sleep, shave, or change clothes at your tent. the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of black water and that whole mess. I think Jose. Oh. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. Oh, I'm boy. sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the camera. Your gang camp is showed by. Yep. Your beard is getting oh, long. You can Arthur, my boy. Uh, my dear test. boy. Right. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> at all. For the first time. In weeks, nothing. We're free. We're f free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. Man, there's so you much kept stuff the faith, for me, me with at the same time. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, each day, Pearson will make stew. Which you can eat from the pot. Okay. Uh, this is the map. Okay. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. You can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels with increased capacity. Alright, so over here is the bullets. I'm donating to the stream. Crafting upgrades. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Man, this guy's fat. Oh, look. Actually, it looks different. <laughs> what the hell? That looks interesting. Legend of the East. Okay. We got Arthur's Lodging. Alligator skull. Perfect alligator skin. Okay. John's Lodging. Perfect boar pelt. Camp tables. Truck wagon. No, I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. This is where I click or something. Okay, no, this is, here's the stew. Oh, 
That one's tasty. Mr. Matthews. Okay, Lenny. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Towards even in game. It just takes time, Miss Bella. I wish. I gotta wish they would have killed me too. I know. I wish it every goddamn day. I know. You know, if I had any courage if I was so damn weak. I'd kill myself too. We both know Sorry, that guys, I gotta do my chores. I we have both know the bravery is in the living. But I can tell you're brave, Miss Tab. I really I can't. I don't seem very brave. It's nonsense. You're about the bravest woman I ever met. And that tells me you got the courage. The courage to live. Oh, no. And I really do. Alright, honor and character attributes can be proved by partaking standing chores around the camp. These efforts will be recognized by the gang. Alright, so it actually does something. Good. Um, and then where's my tent? That's not that one back there. Hello! Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just mm. name the place. <laughs> Who's that? If there's anything else we can do, just let us know. Yeah, there ain't nothing you can do. All right. Well. You just holler. Mm. Does anyone remember where my tent was? Or is there a sign next to it? I think it was over here. Yeah, this one. Yeah, here we go. Shaven apparently. There we go. Mustache is pretty much gone. Could go length two on that. Since. 
<laughs> Look back at his hair. Morning. Alright, so I got a little haircut. Or a little shave, I mean. That's much better. Soup? What kind of soup? Should have brought me some too. What is that thing? Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks. Brazen bank robbery, three men sought. Missy. Oh, that's way too long, man. Come on. <laughs> Tomato soup? Ew. What the hell? Never mind. I'll pass on that. Nasty. Glycerin something. Tar soap. like in the first game. Let's see what we got. Outfits. The gunslinger. The summer gunslinger. <laughs> it's delicious. If you say so, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Some of these outfits. It's on horse. Stolen hats. There's gonna be stolen hats apparently too. Pair with other warm items for protection from the cold. Hmm. Too warm for hot weather. Very warm. Slightly warm. suitable for cold weather on your horse. Okay, so I should definitely put some cold weather outfits on my horse. Okay. Uh, for cold temperatures. Okay, so yeah, just put this one on my horse. Uh, 
Australia. Um, it doesn't say right there. Uncle needs to speak to you there. Alright, see you later, Metal. Thanks for passing by. Did you and Marcus know see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. You were right about this place. Good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, <laughs> eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robbing. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Uh, sure. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. I don't I need my lasso for this? Oh, boy. That's a good girl. All right, let's go. Yeah, there, you got it. <laughs> well done, Arthur. Here. 
Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> 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 oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, nice keep time. a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. What the hell is wrong with you? What's this guy doing? Out of my way. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With mm. pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. <laughs> rats. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Buy some Okay, so all right, so this right. Yeah. You not one. getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Air pomade. Oh yeah, that's for there. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Predator bait? Hmm. Well, look 
at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. That's fine whiskey. That's your like like Let's I'm go going grocery for the shopping again. That was bad all the best, fellers. <laughs> Some stuff to sell and see provisions, documents, valuable. Here we go, can be sold. Oh, but this guy doesn't buy. Okay, it's probably somebody else. this way or something. Yeah, okay. I get it. Pretty cool. Alright. You have yourself a good day, sir. Take the fine off the Oh, thing. here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. <laughs> I look at one of this time in my there. career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go get the damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? Oh boy, here we go. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Oh, come on. I ain't I doing have a this with you Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, I wanted to have a duel. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. They hung that fellow who stole a bag of flour from the general store. I guess that's one way to cure a man. Can I help you, sir? I think God might be ignoring this place. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Let's see what we got. 
<laughs> Interesting. No music. trouble now, please. Sorry, wrong room. <laughs> what the fuck? friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh, uh, I paid for uh, nothing. Wait, how do you hit it? Uh, Think uh, you two could scam me? Uh, wait, that's, what, that's what, what the about? hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. I didn't mean to you okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing, nothing to worry about, just me and, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. That's weird. I was pressing all the other buttons. Everything's okay up there? After you. <laughs> Stabbing also tends to work. Go on, lead the way. Thank you, Arthur. On, I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here right now! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. 
<laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No. <laughs> no, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. Good one, girl. A horse with a lift with is your temporary horse. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Sparta kick. It. Yeah. Assuming he was like here. What do you mean? Who cares about honor? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. You need to slow down. I fought in the war. What's your problem? I fought for you. Indicate optional stranger mission. Stranger in the area. Give a fella a nickel. Give me a dime. Give me something! Who is he even talking? I just want to get a drink! I'm parched! Is it? Oh, it's uh. him, I guess. Uh. Hey, buddy! Oh I'm too God. old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? <laughs> Can he hold me? Um, I want to see this. Hold on. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember, with kindness, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Alright, I guess that's that for him. <laughs> I 
How's it going? Let's go. Now I discovered a stranger there, Mark. I don't need this fucking horse. I got my own. Where the hell was it? It looks. He looked like he fell on him. I looked. <laughs> Here's your horse back, friend. Oh. oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Come on. See, there you go. Pays off to be nice sometimes. Who are these two? Look at you, you son of a bitch. Listen, I got no time for big talkers. What the hell, you cracked in the head or something? You want trouble with me? You're finished! I'll knock your head off! You're as good as Let's dead! Let's see. Ah! God damn! <laughs> Give me a second. It won't swing. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Okay, there's the fizz. Okay. And then... He's on the moon! I, I gotta drink. Otherwise I'm gonna die. Come on, move up!
redemption. Alright, so what happens now that I'm dead? <laughs> Back in time. Getting quick, folks, Why don't you just stow that gun, huh? I can't believe this. Well, where did I see my bounty? Oh, there was a dude behind me? Oh, I mean, they were fucking everywhere. <laughs> Continues for Cornwall train robbers. Well, I heard what he said. Well, how goes, friend? I wish things was going better. I know how that goes. Want to buy paper? Huh. Uh, sure. Thank you so much. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Come on, folks. Get your new hand over to that today. Wow, new marksman in town. Welcome. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so... Let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. Bet that piece could use a personal touch now that you've had it for some time. You thought about upgrading the stock? I got some nice ones. For 20 bucks? God damn. Look at styles. Where's that at? I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Oh, okay, that changes the color. Okay, colors for that. The hammer, you know, the frame. That's just colors. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. I can't do much, I'm sure, because it's, you know, just, we're just starting off. Just colors right now. Ammunition. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Shut the hell up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Improved sights. Accuracy goes up. <laughs> Smart addition. Take that. We'll see why not. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? You'll be very pleased with this. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one.
that do. It just increases the range. Any information about anything, anything at all, you can give me a shout. I think we're all good here. Oh, wait. Uh, my <laughs> styles for my knife. Uh, you want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. That looks nice. That's pretty cool. I mean, you're not going to notice it while you're using it and, you know, shoving it inside fucking people's sides, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Revolver cartridges. Thank you. Really. here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. And poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. My first bounty. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Bounty for 272.50. I'm assuming that's my bounty. <laughs> um, why did you do that? It fucking scared me. <laughs> Apparently, there's something at the post office. Let's see what that's about. Junk mail. That's all I get at home. Is junk mail. All the time. Let's see. There's a 
walks in or something? Hello, sir. Ma'am? Your face looks familiar. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello there, and welcome. Oh, this is to pay my bounty. Fuck that. Take care now. I can't be the only one that sees that, literally. Like, come on. <laughs>
turkey or something? <laughs> Turkey right there. Where are you? here 
Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? No, sir. Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if you're a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I, I speak to spirits. Aura. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. Well, oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! <sighs> really do not like you. I should have done that. Come on, girl. Yeah, you're all right, girl. <laughs> Mercy. Okay, so I'll just follow her.
think I must be suffering from exposure. Suffer a little longer. <laughs> Seem to keep blacking out. Morning. How the hell are you? I want oh. nothing to do. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. You more and that's oh my lord i wasn't expecting you back so soon uh mrs calthorpe was uh was just leaving sure where you want him? cell in the back <laughs> oh, oh, there's been some terrible mistake i never did it any of it i thought i told you to shut up partner oh, oh, but i told but you but nothing shut up and, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Before, I, I'm sure wary of you. I see it on the little map, but I'm sure it's too far away or whatever. Morning. Jesus! <laughs> what funny. the hell are you doing?
can't make heads or tails of where I live. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Come on now. Help me out. Sure. Sure. Just Lucky for some, head over that way. Style. You'll get home fine. Well, Thank you, mister. <laughs> Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. I think I'll take a nice long nap. Morning to you. What in holy hell? You can't bring that in here. Go! Don't worry yourself about that. I ain't fooling. I'll kick your ass out. You keep on like that. So where do I sell these? Let's go, boy. Oh, here we go. The, yeah. This guy. Hello there. That's been treating me. Beef, pork, venison, all right here, folks. A sheriff though up north got himself run out of town by his own people. Yeah, I, heard I don't that. think this is how it works. <laughs> Something tells me. Oh, there's the carcass. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. I should head out there hunting again. There we go. Um. Well, where's the? I need to rest, obviously. Let me let me go in the hotel. Let me know how it goes. Finest meat here, nowhere else. To you? Hey! Hey! You looking for trouble? How'd you do? Brush my horse. Hey. You're okay, boy. Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Let's take a bath. <laughs> Is that my character making that noise? Oh. 
<laughs> well, this is interesting. How'd you like some help in here? Except the lust bath. Yeah, okay. Sure. Sit back and relax, hon. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I'll be out of your hair in no time. Ain't often to get a hot bath and a roof over my head. Well then. Hope the water's hot enough. Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Let's just keep that between us and these four walls, shall we? You might be the friendliest person I've met in this town. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. <laughs> so Didn't your parents warn you about talking to naked strangers? <laughs> naked strangers. <laughs> you were something else. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. You have rented a room and can use it to save progress and change outfits. Okay. Oh, this is that room. <laughs> Let's see how he sleeps. Uh, evening, night, morning. <laughs> Touch <of> the door. <laughs> Let's cut it off there. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, sorry if there wasn't enough action with that, you know, me getting chased down by everyone in town scene. But uh, I sure had fun. Um, like I said, I should be streaming tonight again. Um, It'll either be obviously this game or Dooms, uh, but most likely it would be Doom if I do stream again. Um, and then 
uh, like I said, after Doom, I'll take a poll and then we'll see, uh, you know, what you guys want to see. It, it'll be out of like three or four games. Um, thanks again, everybody who showed up. I appreciate it. And solid for subscribing. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.